Hello and welcome to From the Floor on our conference channel. Last year, as my team and I walked the exhibit floor at one of the fall conferences, I realized two things. Many health IT professionals could not make it to the conference because of travel restrictions or busy schedules, which is also true right now. And there are many excellent healthcare solutions who were at the conference and they were ready and willing to share their story about how they plan to help propel healthcare forward. We have short conversations with the vendors in their booths and we ask them to tell us what problem they are trying to solve in healthcare and how they are going about doing that and hopefully give you a taste of what it's like to walk from booth to booth. We'll try to capture as many of these as we can and share them with you. So we hope that you enjoy the new series. Special thanks to our sponsors on the conference channel, which are SureTest, CDW Healthcare, Artisite, and Rubric for making this content possible and for investing in our mission to develop the next generation of health leaders. And now, from the floor. Up first, we have an infrastructure services provider. All right, well, we're back here with Hims 23 at the CloudWave booth. So talk to me about your name and your role here at CloudWave. Tim Quigley, Chief Client Officer at CloudWave. I've been here about two years. I have responsibility for sales, marketing, and professional services primarily, but here with Tarek Littlejohn, our CEO on corporate strategy and whatever else needs to be done that day. So. I love that, I love that. So talk to me about the solution that you guys provide for healthcare. We are a infrastructure services provider. We basically have two product lines, our Opsys line. Our Opsys service line is cloud-based hosting where we host either your primary environment or backup and recovery for you. And we've got our Sensato product line, which is cybersecurity as a service, both sort of a managed service, but also doing sort of standard project work, whether that's pen testing, risk assessments, all, all the standard stuff. Yeah, that's fantastic. So when you think about the healthcare system, who at the healthcare system do you want to speak with? And then what's the conversation you'd like to have with them? Our background is we got started as a value-added reseller in the Meditech space. We have always sort of focused on hospitals, health systems, sort of $2 billion net patient revenue and below. As an example, our cybersecurity as a service is sort of custom built to work with that size of the organization, going all the way down to critical access. So looking again for hospitals and health systems below $2 billion net patient revenue, and our primary contacts are CIO or whoever is the head of IT, head of infrastructure, and or the CISO, depending on, especially when you get down to the smaller places, those three titles are all one person, so yeah. that's who we want to talk to. I love that. So talk to me a little bit about some success stories, things that you're seeing in the industry that you're proud of that you'd like to tell us about. In terms of our cloud, we are most proud that we have customers who are celebrating their 10th anniversary in our cloud. And we have a very flexible model that works across sort of a multi-cloud approach that says we need to find you the, the best fit for the compute, the cost, and the legal requirements. And so we can put edge devices into your data center that we can manage. We have our own private cloud and we work with all the major public cloud providers also. So that sort of vendor neutral approach to cloud, we're proud of and then, but it's really that 10 years of experience and the fact that that means these customers, usually it's a five year contract we sign. These customers are now signing up for their third iteration of our contract. So we're, right. we're pretty proud of that. And in terms of Sensato cybersecurity offering, that the customers trust us every day to keep their healthcare environment safe and secure. And we're proud that we are the only cybersecurity company that has a memorandum of understanding with the FDA. John Gomez, who is our chief of security of cybersecurity, is one of the few guys who the FDA is having an issue or a threat, cyber threat, with medical devices. They call John and bring him in to advise with them. So we're proud of us, Matt, we're proud of working with John, and yeah, so that customers trust us with all that is really uh, most proud. That's beautiful. Man, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Appreciate yeah, it. Look forward to talking to you again. Up next, we have an IT management solution. 
We're here at Hims 23 at the CompuCom booth. Guys, tell me who you are and what's your role at the company. Sure, we're CompuCom. We're a managed IT solutions provider. To put that in layman's terms, if you have a problem or a challenge, say with your service desk from an IT perspective for healthcare, let's face it, that has a huge impact on your revenues. Yeah. We actually help customers solve this, and also we help in a variety of other areas, such as our full tech services. And one of the things that I say that we pride ourselves on is our experience. We've had over 30 years of experience in helping IT organizations improve their infrastructure, yeah. as well as their staffing, which my colleague here, give you more details about it. Thank you, Jeff. I'm Nancy Alcal. Jared, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. And we're excited to be at HIMSS. My role is to provide help with IT staffing, contract, contract to hire, and FTE. And when this market, talent is hard to find, yep. and there's quite a demand for technology talent in particular. So we help companies provide them to provide those resources. I love that. So. Talk to me a little bit about the healthcare system. Who do you want to talk to in the healthcare system? Sure. And then what's the conversation sure, you're looking I'll to have? Yeah, we primarily deal with CISO suites. We deal with people in C suite. We yeah. deal with those that are VPs of technology, but primarily the C suite is who we target. So talk to me about who you want to talk to at the healthcare system, and then what's the conversation that you're looking to have with sure. them? Sure, primarily the C suite. That would be the CISOs, the VPs of technology. Those are the groups that we target. These are the decision makers that can actually make decisions. And then also we consult with them in a area of field tech services. That's one of our modalities that we offer. Say if a machine of, of a networking system in the medical system has broken down, we can actually come out and provide assistance with that. Mm. Patient care is very important. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is our experience, 30 years of experience in helping the IT organizations improve. That's great. So, so tell me something that you're proud about. Give me some success stories, some things that you'd love to talk about about CompuCom. Yeah, you bet. Sure, I know sure. you have one right at the Yeah, I have one that was recently a partner that's joined us out of Atlanta, mm -hmm. had challenges in various areas of staffing for their service desk. We came in with the solution to provide them with the coverage that they needed, improved ticketing. They had a number of tickets that were actually sold out mm -hmm. as far as stacking up and the resources were all over the place. So we came in and provided a solution that can actually get a better, I guess, metric, a better yeah. measurement of how they're actually doing it. We saw efficiencies go up as well. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks so much for spending some time with us and we appreciate all you do. Um, all right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll get back to our show in just a minute. I am excited about our webinars this year. They have been going very well. What I've done is I've gone out and talked to people in the community and said, what works in webinars? And they came back and said, look, this is what we want. We want a webinar that is not product centric. It's really focused in on the problems of healthcare. And we want people on there that are actually solving those problems. And so we have done that. And the response has been fantastic this year. We have another webinar coming up. It is the future of care spaces. Where care is being delivered is changing rapidly. Even the care spaces within the hospital themselves are changing. Technology is being added in different types of technology, AI, obviously, computer vision and whatnot is changing that modality as well as what's going on in the home and whatnot. So we're gonna have that webinar on June 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. We usually have it on the first Thursday happens to be a little too close to my anniversary. So we're gonna do June 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern time, Future of Care Spaces. We would love to have you be a part of it. If you are interested in being there, go ahead and hit our website, top right hand corner, we have a card. You can click on that card and go ahead and fill out the form and get registered today. We would love to have you join us. We look forward to seeing you there. Now back to our show. Third, we have a 140-year-old publishing company that has moved to bringing medical content to the point of care. Okay, so who are you and what is your role? I'm Mariana Bruce White and I am the Senior Vice President for Global Marketing for Elsevier Clinical Solutions. Beautiful. So Elsevier, tell me about it. What solution do you provide for healthcare? Yeah. So Elsevier is a 140-year-old company. Our original roots were in publishing. So if you heard of company, if you've heard of publications like Mosby's, Late, Late, Grey's Anatomy, The Lancet, they're all of our publications. So what our organization does is take that medical content and bring it to the point of care for both patients, for physicians, for learning, for students to professionals. So we have an evidence base of content, which in this day of misinformation is critically important. For sure. So 
who at a health system do you want to have a conversation with and what do you want to tell them yeah. and talk to them about? So our solutions span a lot of organizations in a healthcare system. So think about nursing schools with a no number of the nursing and medical schools in America use all of our books and journals to teach their students. And then when they go into practice, so we talk to physicians, nurses, CMOs, CNIOs, informatics, and also operations. Wonderful. Can you share with us any use cases or success stories? Yeah, so we have a lot of different um, different use cases. For instance, at this show, we're launching our, our flagship product once again as a point of care solution. So today, clinical key is used primarily for a reference. So when you think about, do I understand this disease? Medical knowledge is growing exponentially, right? And no physician can keep it all in their head. So our resources enable a physician to look up references but now they can look up those references at the point of care, embedded in their EHR, with search technology that they can absolutely get the right answer for that specific patient case. So that's one example. In the nursing field, we have a number of learning and competency management solutions. So think about your novice nurse. Most nurses come out of school that are really not practice ready, right? So we have a number of solutions to get that novice nurse practice ready in the hospital setting. We also have a number of solutions to get that professional and keep their practicing at the top of their license. So we have all of those solutions. And then from a patient perspective, we embed all of that information so that when a patient is being treated at the end of that treatment episode, that patient can get patient information that's evidence-based, that's not, they're not gonna go to Dr. Google for information, but they're getting information from their practitioner in a way that will improve their outcomes. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Bye. Up next, we have an enterprise resource planning solution. Sounds good. All right, so tell me who you are and uh, what do you do here? My name is Steve Fanning. I am the Senior Vice President of Industry Strategy for Infor. I focus primarily on healthcare and I really focus on the capabilities that Infor offers and the fit for healthcare providers and making sure that we're staying current with regulations and leading edge in terms of innovation. So talk to me about Infor a little bit. So what's the solution that you guys bring to healthcare? Sure, so Infor is the most widely deployed enterprise resource planning or ERP system in healthcare. So don't think of the systems that a doctor types into, but all of the payroll systems, financial systems, supply chain systems. We also do the timekeeping system, so the clocks and the scheduling uh, as well. And then we're also the most widely deployed interoperability platform. So moving healthcare data from point A to point B, securely transforming into the right format. So in the point of care at the right place, right time, we're getting healthcare information moved at scale and at speed across the entire ecosystem. So if you're talking to the healthcare system, like who do you want to speak to there and then what's the conversation you're looking at? Sure, it's generally the, the senior executive team at, at a healthcare organization who's looking to transform either by growth or acquisition, they're looking to generate more efficiencies overall, and of course they're tied to the mission of healthcare. So we are generally working on large transformation projects that really impact the overall complexity of the organization, how they streamline hiring new employees, even the markets that they choose to service is a big part of what we do. I love that. So Give me a little use case, you know, uh, brag on your company a little bit, like tell me some things that have been going well. Yeah, so the thing that we're announcing later this morning uh, is a new offering that is what we're calling the Infor Fire on-ramp. So Fire is a new set of standards for exchanging and using analytic information related to health data. So all of these other technologies around AI all require that this information be in a format that it can use. So Infor is now an official on-ramp for the AWS Health Lake. So taking the thousands of customers that we have that are running our interoperability systems and then unlocking all these other tools for precision medicine, for innovation of care, health equity projects like being able to do food prescriptions or send transportation to someone's home and pick them up. That's all facilitated using this interoperability. And if we can apply these new advanced technologies like AI and machine learning, these large, large language models, that's where we're really excited to take this data that used to live in the four walls in the hospital and really access all the potential of, of therapeutic treatments and other advances in medicine. I love that. Man, thanks so much for spending some time with us. We appreciate Likewise. you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Up last, we have a healthcare compliance analytics company. All right, well, we're here at the Pro Tennis booth. So tell me what you do and tell me what your name is. So my name is Bree McGrath. I work for Pro Tennis. We are a healthcare compliance analytics company. So two of the products that we have are drug diversion monitoring and patient privacy monitoring. I love that. So 
tell me if you're looking at the healthcare system, like who do you want to speak to at the healthcare system? And then what's the conversation that you guys want to have? Sure. So the two individuals that we most likely are going to speak to are either the chief pharmacy officer, when we talk to about our diversion monitoring solution, and then generally the chief privacy officer, compliance officer, when we're talking about our patient privacy monitoring, but the sure. compliance officer may also be interested in drug diversion monitoring as well. That's awesome. All right, well, talk to us a little bit about some success stories, like some things that you're seeing in the hospitals that you're a part of, like what are you seeing out in the field? Sure, well, right now, obviously, drug diversion monitoring is one of the key things that health systems are now starting to look into after the pandemic, especially with providers being a little bit more burnt out. Diversion can happen kind of anywhere, and getting a program in place is something that is a priority. This helps prevent risk for their organization, so whether it's reputational risk or harming patients, drug diversion monitoring situation could be helping a nurse or somebody get help before they harm their patients or like their organization. So that's generally one of the success stories that we do see is identifying those that diversion events or sloppy practice before it gets to be a more serious situation. Yeah, that's fantastic and a big deal. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with thank us. You. We appreciate what you do. Thank you. Yeah. What a great group of healthcare partners. We want to thank them for spending time with us from the floor and sharing their solutions and their aspirations for supporting healthcare IT. I want to thank them for talking with me, with Holly, and our team from the floor. We also want to thank our sponsors who make this content possible and are investing in our mission to develop the next generation of health leaders. They are SureTest, CDW Healthcare, Artisite, and Rubric. Thanks for listening. That's all for now.